Hello, my beautiful Leos. This is Debs, and this is your TGIF weekly reading for Friday, the twenty third of June, twenty twenty three. Leo, it's amazing to be with you. Thank you so much for being here. And without further ado, Leo, let's jump into your reading to see what may transpire. Using, as always, a crystal quartz to help me channel through. And the deck that I'm using is the Tarot of Mystical Moments. I'll switch up the decks, guys, next month. If you would like a private reading, you can reach me. My website is in the description box below, as well as information about joining the channel if you're interested. Okay, Leo. Should we find out what's going to be happening for you? Michael wants that. Okay. All right. Let's find out what's going on for you guys. So Archangel Michael, thank you for joining us. This is the TGIF weekly reading for my Leos. Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. Friday, the 23rd of June, 2023. Yep, yep, okay. All right. What's happening for Leo over this weekend and a new week? Now, guys, this could be a message coming through now for later on, okay? Keep that in mind. Yes. All right, Leo. Let's see what we've got. Leo, wow. Okay, guys, now, we start off with the Knight of Wands. Now, bear with me. I think that someone sitting in the Knight of Wands rushed towards you, full of passion, wanting something very casual with you, Leo. But I don't think they stayed. I think they rushed out just as quickly. They left you sitting in the Nine of Wands, feeling battle-scarred, feeling stressed. You thought this person was your true person, but you found out there were thorns. This was very painful. I think with the energy of the Wheel of Fortune, you got yourself out of this dark energy. You picked yourself up and you pushed yourself into a new cycle. And the wheel started moving forward. Leo, you may have ended up a star. So you could have done very well in the work that you do. But this is you healed and looking to your future. Now, Leo, whoever hurt you in the past has been keeping an eye on you with a page of wands. This is someone who's seen you move through adversity, fear, pain, heartbreak and stress and be strong enough to stand up and look to your future. They built a lot of respect for you, Leo. This person is coming through, standing in the energy of the emperor. They believe that you are the right person for them to settle with. So Leo, this could have been someone you met a long time ago. It could be someone you dated in the past who didn't treat you very well. Maybe they weren't ready for a commitment, but this is someone who's shifted from the Knight of Wands to the emperor. So Leo, this could be somebody you knew years ago who is actually going to be showing back up in your life. They see you sat in the energy of the Empress. They realise that you're the person that they want to commit to. The thing is, Leo, have you moved on? Have you left this person behind? Or for some of you, are you feeling this could be a dream come true? We will see. Here we go, guys. Let's find out what's going on. What else do we have for my beautiful Leos? Thank you, Michael. Okay. Ooh, we had <laughs> the strength card flipped over. Very accurate. That's your Leo card for me. Hmm. Yeah. Oh, all right. Michael's saying go with it. Okay. Let's see what we have, guys. People, this could be an emotional reading. With the first card of Ancient Oak Spirit, Strength. Now, this is your card of Leo. I feel that you needed a lot of confidence, a lot of courage to shift yourself out of this energy of the Nine of Wands. It was very difficult when you realised this person didn't have good intentions. They just wanted 
a few nights of fun, whatever this was with you, Leo, you reflected on what happened in the past. You looked at what happened and you thought about what you wanted for your future. You moved yourself into the energy of healing and I see this bear here as you being protected by your angels, the archangels. The number four is the number of the archangels. I think you were guided to concentrate on your own stability, your own future. Forget about this other person. So Leo, even though you miss this person, you may have sat for a while feeling left out in the cold. This is the equivalent to the five of pentacles. Wondering what your future was going to bring. I think you got up and you got to work. With the energy of growth, even though you were sitting in a painful situation, you pushed on and you progressed in terms of the work that you do. You could have received a lot of guidance from the divine. I'm seeing birds here as divine messengers and everything blossomed around you. Now this was divinely guided with a seven. So you achieved your own happiness, Leo, born out of a lot of upset from the past relating to this person. Now, Leo, you have this emperor coming back in and what they are realising is you will be a wonderful partner for long-term stability. They've seen what you can do. They've seen what you can achieve. And just so that you know, Leo, with the energy of dragonfly spirit, change is on the horizon. This could be a very exciting reading for one or two of you. This is also someone, Leo, who's learned their lessons. They've shifted from the Knight of Wands to the Emperor. They're ready. They may also have faced karma in the past for what they did to you. But this is someone who feels that now is the time for them to look for a long-term partner. And Leo, they're looking right at you. Here we go, people. The Arcanum Tarot. Now, Leo, with the Emperor and the Empress, for some of you... This is you reconnecting with this person, realising that they've ascended. And this is you two moving into Twin Flame Union in the 3D. So Archangel Michael, where do we start? Where do we start? Nine of Cups. All right. So it could well be, Leo, this is someone who was happily dating other people. It may be simply you two were on different pages. This is someone who wasn't ready to settle and maybe you were. This is someone you felt a deep soul connection with, Leo. Yeah. But after sort of having a few nights with you or a few days with you, they headed off. They may have left very quickly. And this is you realising that they wouldn't be back. They wouldn't be back. Wow. Seven of Swords, Five of Swords. This is someone who got what they wanted from you and they vanished. They left the situation. And I think they left you in turmoil, Leo. Yeah, with the energy of the moon, Cancerian Pisces energy. You had deep feelings for this person, but they were hiding the fact that they were giving to other people. You weren't the only one. Yeah, six of pentacles. They were definitely giving to other people. And I think it left you very disappointed. It left you disappointed. Queen of Wands. So this is you picking yourself up, looking to the future. And I think you did a lot of contemplating relating to what you wanted for your future. Four of Pentacles. Inside, you were possibly hanging on to the hope that this person would come back. But Leo, for many of you, you literally chucked yourself into work. You thought, okay, it's not going to work for me. All right. Ace of Swords. So you told yourself the truth. I think you detached from this person. And with the Wheel of Fortune, Wheel of Fortune twice, this is the divine guiding you in a new direction. Leo, this could have been a while ago. This could have been a while ago. Yeah. You moved yourself to Karma Waters with the Six of Swords. You may even have actually moved to a different place. Different property, different area. And I think the angels were with you, helping you heal. Temperance, helping you heal. You got yourself balanced into a temperate place. Mm. 
bless you, Nine of Swords, you are still very stressed about this person. Missing them, feeling heartbroken. Wow. But with a high priestess, you kept it to yourself. And I think for some of you, you became highly intuitive. You became highly intuitive. And with the Nine of Wands, you carried on. It was a bit of a struggle, but you carried on. You were wounded, but I think you concentrated on your own stability. Yeah, through sheer hard work and dedication to whatever you were building, developing, you shifted yourself onto a really stable new cycle. You move forward. You move forward. Hangman. You did a lot of contemplating about the past, about effort that you put in to the connection with this person. The hermit could have been a Virgo. This is you, though, hermiting yourself away and doing a lot of soul searching. Ten of Wands. It was painful. It was draining, but you carried on, Leo. You were determined not to let this person bring you down. But I think you knew, Leo, that you made the right judgment call. You made the right judgment call. Sagittarian energy. Yeah, the angels were guiding you. Yeah, the angels were guiding you. And look at you fly, chariot. This is you gathering speed in a business, in your career, doing extremely well. And we have the emperor that suddenly shows up. Emperor twice. So Leo, this guy is coming in. What is Leo's reaction? Oh my goodness, people. Yeah. Seven of Wands, you're going to find yourself naturally defensive. You're going to be very guarded. You're going to be putting up healthy boundaries. Because Leo, for some of you, with a Six of Cups, this person's coming back to say, I want to be with you. I want to be with you. They're ready. They're ready. I don't know what you're going to say, Leo. Knight of Wands. In your mind, there's still the Knight of Wands. You don't know for sure if they've changed. So you're going to be nervous, Leo. Because you're now sat in the Nine of Pentacles. You're sitting in pre-Empress energy. This person sees how much you have to offer. You're extremely balanced with the energy of the Justice card. Libra energy. For some of you, you may feel this is simply justice, but I don't know. I think this person wants a serious relationship. Two of Cups. This is your person, Leo. And this is going to be tough because for many of you, you don't trust this person anymore. They cause you a lot of heartbreak, but you know that this person is your true divine twin. What's Leo going to do? Seven of Pentacles, you're going to be spending a little bit of time looking at the past. You may say to this person, you've got a heavy workload. I mean, if you've reached success, Leo, in your life, it would have taken a lot of hard work. What is this person saying to Leo? Okay, Eight of Cups. Now, they could apologise for walking away or what they're saying is they didn't understand how strong the connection was with you, Leo, and this is someone who's walking away from their other options because they realise you're the one. Wow, Leo, what is this person going to say? Ace of Pentacles. Now, for some of you, they may have uprooted their life, changed location, and they're now in your area. It could be that with the Ace of Pentacles, Leo, this is someone... Who wants to apologise? Three of Swords. Unbeknown to you, 
they actually caused their own heartbreak when they left you to pursue other options. Yeah. Unbeknown to you, Leo, with the Three of Wands, this is someone who I think was filled with regret for walking away. They've always remembered you. Knight of Cups, they love you. This is someone who happily sabotaged the connection to go off and date other people. But Leo, this is someone who's realised that they're in love. King of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. So Leo, we've got Aries, Leo, Sag, same as you, fire sign. We've got Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. What is this person saying to Leo? They could tell you that they blocked their emotions. They realised they made a massive mistake, but they tried to pursue other people and it just did not work. Leo, they couldn't forget you. What else are they saying? Ten of Cups. This is someone, Leo, who may have realised almost the moment they walked away from you that you were the one. But they couldn't face that thought because maybe they weren't ready. Maybe they wanted to keep playing the field. Maybe this is somebody who didn't feel as if they wanted to commit at the time. Only after they saw you pick yourself up and move on and actually become very successful did this person realise what they'd lost. They now see you as their empress and they're wanting to offer you the Ten of Cups. So what is Leo's response? Knight of Pentacles, are you serious? Are you really ready to commit? Are you sure? What is this person saying to Leo? You're my empress. You're simply the one. You're the one. Wow. Emperor and empress twice. What is this person saying to Leo? Guys, eight of swords. They may have been too scared to open up and communicate before. They may have felt that you were still angry with them. You were still, you were still angry with them. You were still upset. What are they saying to Leo? Okay, they could have been harsh in the way they disconnected from you. But now they realise with the Four of Wands, Twin Flame Union, that you are their person, you're their empress. You are their empress. How is Leo going to feel? I've got to be honest, guys, there could be a sense of victory and success. Okay, don't let your ego take over. <laughs> I love you guys, but be careful. Um, I think that you believe that this is right. You've worked on yourself. You can tell, Leo, when this person comes in, that they are ready to commit. You'll feel it. And I believe, Leo, that there's also... The acknowledgement that this is a powerful spiritual connection. Hierophant, powerful spiritual connection. Taurus energy. This is someone, Leo, ready to get married. What is Leo going to say? Magician, let's do this. You may feel both of you now are in a place where you can manifest happiness. I think with the King of Pentacles, Leo, this is somebody who's worked on their stability, as you have. This is somebody who may have grown up, okay? And with the Ace of Cups, there's a lot of love between the two of you. It may take a while for you two to get comfortable with each other again. But I think, guys, this is going to work out, you know? I think this is going to work out. Underneath the deck, Page of Cups. They're going to be apologising, Leo, for what happened in the past. They're going to be apologising for dipping into other options, saying that they were confused as to what they wanted. I think, Leo, you're going to swallow your pride. You're going to accept this person's apology with grace. 
And I think you're going to go with it. I do. I think for the majority of you, you're going to say, okay. Because this is not a third party situation, Leo. I just feel this person wasn't ready to commit before. They needed to move into a place where they felt stable, grounded, ready for a long-term relationship. And you needed to get yourself out of this nine of wands energy. And you've done it. So people, this could be twin flame union in this lifetime, which would be very exciting. Let's move into messages. So guys, I'm moving into Twin Flame Mirror Dialogue Oracle Deck. I believe for some of you, with the Emperor and the Empress coming out twice and the Four of Wands, this is a Twin Flame reading, okay? So Archangel Michael, what would this masculine want to say to Leo? What would the masculine want to say to Leo? Wow. When we're together, I feel alive and time stands still. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. I'm sorry for the way I treated you. I was acting from old patterns. Back then, Leo, this is somebody absolutely not ready to commit. Back then, they are now. Yeah. I don't want this to be over. Leo, they have a lot of remorse about what happened in the past. I can feel you too. They understand that this is a powerful past life connection. <laughs> it jumped out. I'm trying to be someone you can trust. Yeah. They know that you feel that maybe you can't trust them. They're worried about you moving on, Leo. Please give me another chance. So guys, it's up to you if you do. It's a beautiful reading. I'm leaving it there. Take care of you. Sending love and light your way and many blessings. Bye, Leo.